the, the bill that is in the Senate is the counter to the bill that is in the House. Uh, Bobby Scott, chair of the committee, Congresswoman Johanna Hayes, has taken the lead on this uh, in the House. We're very proud of her leadership in this regard and eager to hear what she has to say. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, as you just heard Senator Stabenow say, uh, WIC recipients utilize formula at a rate double most other people in this country. About 50% of our babies rely on the WIC program for, for milk, and that is disproportionate. Uh, I spent this morning in my office returning calls to people in my district who had reached out. They started a Facebook group to try to figure out when and where they can buy formula. People are selling samples on the street. Mothers are watering down formula. Quite frankly, they're desperate. This is what I heard person after person after person that I spoke to this morning. But I'm very excited that Congress is taking action today to help our most vulnerable families. Over the past few weeks, Speaker Pelosi, in every meeting that we've been in, has raised this issue of this crisis about formula shortage. I'm excited to work with leadership and introduce the Access to Baby Formula Act, which really is a backup plan. There should have been a backup plan for when there was a recall for families who receive WIC, how they would be able to access formula. This bill provides a way that waiver to authorize um, the governing bodies to address emergencies, disasters, and supply chain disruptions, which will help us prepare for future events. I'm very excited to be able to work with Chairman Bobby Scott on this issue. I chaired the Nutrition Subcommittee on Ag, but WIC falls under Ed and Labor. So what this bill shows is that Democrats are aligned on this issue and really working together not only to open up the supply chain to get milk and baby formula back on the shelves immediately, but long term to make sure that we have a plan in place so that this never happens again. I can tell you that um, I understand completely what parents are going through right now. I was a participant in the WIC program. I know what it means to not be able to stretch out milk through the entire month. And that's what I heard this morning on the phone from these parents and grandparents that I was talking to. What I'd like to tell them is that their words are not falling on deaf ears, that we see them and we hear them and we are working very hard in Congress to address this rising concern. Um, with everything going on right now, the last thing a family should have to worry about is feeding their children. So again, very excited that we are bringing this legislation to the floor of the House and that we will act swiftly and vote on it and move it to the Senate so that we can get some much needed relief to these parents and their children. Thank you. Thank you very much.